And runners who've been training for months will start showing up at the Duke Energy Convention Center today. And that's also where we find Nine on Your Side anchor Brian Yocono with more. Brian. Catherine, good morning. We're right downtown at the Duke Energy Convention Center, as you said, for the P&G Health and Fitness Expo, because today really kicks off the Flying Pig Marathon weekend, even though the marathon itself isn't until Sunday. And, the, well, the key organizer, Iris Simpson Bush, with us this morning, up bright and early to talk about what's happening. Obviously, good to see you, first of all. Thank you. Uh, you're still smiling, and we're, <laughs> we're here to the kickoff. It's showtime. I'm happy. <laughs> that is, okay, so, you know, what, what pays off at this point when we look in this room and you know the crowds are coming in today? What pays off for you at this point? Well, you know, it's for us, it's 51, a minimum of 51 weeks of planning. So really to get to this and you think of all the te details, all the things that went into it, the hundreds of exhibitors who will be here today taking care of all their needs, making sure we're ready for the um, one mile tonight, which is a new event for us. So anytime you're doing something new, you know, it adds a little uh, excitement and anticipation. We have the big street concert, Foxy Shazam performing at nine o'clock. Uh, we have a fireworks show. Tomorrow, all of the races are pretty much as uh, typical, the 5K, 10K, the kids' events, and getting ready for Sunday. We're ready for whatever Mother Nature gives us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the big question right now, of course. Yes, it is, but the show will go on. We appreciate it, and uh, of course, the best of luck to you, and the, the expo here kicks off today. Good to see you this at morning. Noon. Thank you. Thank at you. noon today. That's right. Mm -hmm. 12 to 7 today, and uh, 10 to 7 tomorrow, right here at the expo. It's free and open to the public. You're welcome to come down. And you